Welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll learn how to build a cross belt sorter using conveyors and photo eyes. First, drag and drop two roller conveyors side by side, and set the horizontal length to 17 meters. Next, add a curved conveyor to connect the two roller conveyors. Adjust their alignment, then use the Join Conveyors option to connect them. On the opposite side, add another curved conveyor. Now add one intersection conveyor with a length of 9 meters. Then add three more conveyors, making it a total of four. Do the same on the opposite side, add four conveyors there as well. For the cross conveyors, change the visualization to mass flow conveyor. Enable the power and free conveyor option, and set the dog interval to 2 meters. Repeat this for all cross conveyors. We are only changing the visualization settings for these conveyors. Next, add two sources and one sink. From each source, Add four output ports and connect them to the conveyors. Also, connect the conveyors to the sink. In the source properties, change the flow item to tote. Update the arrival schedule and edit the table to produce 30 items. Now add a queue and place it under each of the conveyors. Do this for all three additional conveyors. Connect each queue to its respective conveyor. Go to the flow item bin and change the tote size. Click the source and add an on creation trigger. Add a label named box and set its value to zero. In the second source, set the arrival time to zero and the time interval to 10 seconds. Here also, add an on creation trigger. Choose set label and color, and change the value to 4 so that 4 SKUs will be created. In the output, select port by case and add 4 cases. This ensures each SKU is sent to its corresponding conveyor. Now add 2 photo eyes, one on each conveyor, as shown. In each photo eye, add both on cover and on uncover triggers. For the on cover trigger, add a label. Set the object as current, the label as tray, and the value as item.
In the on uncover trigger, do the same but set the value to 0. In the other conveyor, add on cover and on uncover triggers again. In the on cover trigger, assign the label just like before and also add another trigger to stop the item. In the uncover trigger, do the same steps and set the value to 0. Click on the photo I and open the custom code under the oncover trigger. Add the code shown in the video. This code takes the reference of the box, then uses an if condition to check whether the box is present. If it is, the object is moved into the tote using the code. Copy and paste this code for the other photo eyes as well. You only need to update the photo eye reference in each custom code. Also add one more condition to check whether the toad is already loaded with a box. On the opposite side, add one photo eye on the conveyor. In that photo eye, add an on cover trigger and insert the code to first check whether the box is present or not. If it is present, store that value in the SKU label. Then, add a condition, if the box type is 4, move that item into the queue. Next, copy and paste the photo eyes onto the other conveyors as well. Change the type for each sensor so that each SKU type is mapped to its respective conveyor. Now, in the same condition, change the queue where the item has to be moved.
Finally, reset the model and run it. You can see that totes are moving, each box is moving into a tote, and the items are being delivered to the opposite side. These totes will continue looping, and the items will be loaded and delivered continuously. If you're just getting started with FlexSim and want to build a solid foundation, do check out our basic FlexSim training, a beginner-friendly, self-paced course that covers everything you need to know to start building your own simulation models with confidence. Check out the full details on our website. We'd love to have you on board. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos, and happy simulating!